ನಿತ್ಯಾನಂದಂ ಪರಮ ಸುಖದಂ ಕೇವಲ ಜ್ಞಾನಮೂರ್ತಿ ದ್ವಂದ್ವಾತೀತ ಗಗನ ಸದೃಶ ತತ್ವಮಸ್ಯಾಕ್ಷ ಏಕಲ ಅಚಲ ಸರ್ವದೀ ಸಾಕ್ಷಿಭೂತ ಭಾವಾತೀತ ತ್ರಿಗುಣರಹಿತ ಸದ್ಗುರು ತಂ ನಮಿ I offer my humble pranams and obeisance to the divine lotus feet of his divine holiness shri nityananda paramashiva and with his grace and blessings i welcome you all to this introduction to satsang i welcome all of the viewers from facebook live twitter instagram youtube and all the social media platforms gathered in all the satsang centers home paduka mandirs peethams adhinams and temples all over the world it's at this time every single day no matter what time zone you might be in that across the nation of shri kailasa across the diaspora of hindus there's 2 billion hindus all over the world we all tune in to the supreme pontiff and what he has to deliver to us the parameshwara gnana that he comes to express to all of us at this time no matter where you are either getting ready to go to bed and take rest for the day or getting ready for a new day and wanting to start your day with powerful cognitions from parameshwara we are all here gathered tuning in to this auspicious time kailasa's nityananda satsang it is always such a pleasure to see all of the viewers who comment share are so excited and feel so auspicious so excited when swami ji comes when we are all able to celebrate his words and his presence when he graces us through the public platforms for nityananda satsang and not only that as he graces us on planet earth in this day and age truly we all feel completely blessed and i know that it is not just my feeling but for all of you viewers out there as well yesterday swami ji had given such breakthrough revolution revolutionary revelations i might say in what we are undergoing as a hum- as humanity in a time of dire need across the world we are seeing so many people affected so many cases of the corona virus this pandemic has affected now 100000 people a little bit more than 100000 people all over the world with 5000 deaths and it's just been 3 months since the first outbreak these statistics are quite startling when we first see them and all over the world many places are being shut down being under quarantine travel is very scarce considering now that this epidemic is completely widespread and the rates of the epidemic are still unsure like how how you are able to get this virus what is going on in the world is still very unsure we're all almost all of us are living perhaps if you might call it in the brink of panic where you're not sure if you might get this virus if you might be affected at all swami ji yesterday for all of us hindus who identify as hindu gave us a solution a traditional organic way of immunizing all of us vaccinating all of us without any sad side effects he introduced 
a very old technique which has been a part of the hindu tradition for thousands of years called the pancha patni vratam he introduced it by introducing the goddess mariamman it is said that in a particular stotram of devi herself that she takes up the vrata this particular vrata and she takes up as swami ji said yesterday this nirahara samyama in order to heal the world in order to bless the world in so many different ways the hindu tradition has done this tyaga of taking up a vrata and taking up the nirahara samyama in order to heal and bless the world in this particular stotram devi herself is known as nityananda nirahari who is the one who is eternally blissful in the fast in the vrata and is gracing humanity in this form she is also known as a mahatapasvini the one who does tapas who does penance for the sake of others this is the way that our gods our goddesses have taken up the sacrifice in order to heal humanity entirely having reference to this swami ji declared that this pancha patni vratam and another indigenous practice called the fire walking practice both of these as well as the mahavakya chanting that all three of these will completely help cure prevent and immunize you from getting this corona virus across the hindu nation which we are all part of and across all the 2 billion hindus who are there this is the official advice the official stance taken by the supreme pontiff the embodiment of parameshwara his divine holiness shri nityananda parameshwaram yesterday and in order to explain what is this samyama swami ji has gone into detail about what are the steps and of course we will discuss and present those to you as well but first briefly let us go over what exactly is nirahara samyama what is the context which swami ji introduced to us back in 2012 and why we should do it what is the actual the benefits which come for it, from it as each of us are getting ready for the pachapatni vrata as mentioned by swami ji himself in yesterday satsang where he so beautifully shared devi herself did the pachapatni vrata she herself was doing the nirahara samyama what is the real science behind the nirahara samyama i wanted to take a few minutes to share with all of you what swami ji has really shared about the nirahara samyama the nirahara samyama is a technique from the vedic tradition itself to explore and discover the different possibilities to live without any external input like food or water what is exploring the different possibilities of the body in reality our body is a microcosm of the macrocosm meaning we are a miniature of the cosmos with every possible intelligence we have stored in our body now if a fish intelligence in us we can also swim if a bird can fly we have that intelligence in us we can also fly if plants can make food out of sunrise then we also have the ability we can also make food just from the every extraordinary capability and possibility is inside our bio memory i'm going to explain what is bio memory in just a bit so all we need to do is to explore and rediscover all these possibilities in us 
anything and everything that is available in the cosmos because we are a miniature we are a microcosm of this macrocosm because we are the miniature of the cosmos we also have those powers possibility and capabilities nirahara samyama is awakening one such possibility in us which is to generate food the life energy the prana that we need the life energy that we need generating it from the air the space and the sun rays now nirahara samyama is exploring the body's possibility to live without having any external input like food or even water the purpose of the samyama is to awaken the natural intelligence of making food of natural resources like sun rays air and prana which is directly available in that space now we have two things in us one is a muscle memory and bio memory now muscle memory relates to all the basic habits yesterday i was sharing about the habit of drinking coffee in the morning or um, you know some compulsive addictions that we have the way we like some things the way we hurts we hate some things the way we are addicted to certain lifestyle habits um, you know you have to watch tv while you are uh, you know eating or you have to use your mobile phone while you are um, you know listen to songs while you are sleeping some habits or the other that component which has the basic survival instinct and the basic knowledge we need to run our life is muscle memory now similarly we have something called as a bio memory now there are higher intelligence that we learn in our past lives for example in the past we have all been a bird so the ability to fly like a bird we have all been a fish because we have evolved from one being to the next now when we were all a fish we learned how to swim ability to live under water ability to produce food directly from the air and sun rays all of these possibilities and powers are in our bio memory we have it from our past life then the question that we will have if we have all this intelligence if we have all these powers and possibilities in us how come we are not able to express it today how come we feel we need food how come we feel i cannot fly please understand human beings over the ages we have put so much um, food into our body right now we have stopped the ability over the last few janmas or few lifetimes that we have taken different bodies that we have taken we have dumped so much food into our body that we have curtailed stopped the awakening of the body's natural intelligence of creating food from within ourselves swami ji so beautifully says the moment we assumed the body of a pig buffalo or bull in our life's journey in our evolution we stopped our natural intelligence from functioning when we were in the body of plants and trees as a part of our evolution we had the natural intelligence to create the food that we want now when we evolved to other bodies the next level of animal bodies the taste for solid food made us dump so much food into our system which caused us to even forget the natural intelligence of being able to create food from air and sun rays now the nirahara samyama that swami ji is introducing is simply reawakening that original intelligence that is already there in our bio memory and through the pachapatni vrata which is a great prevention and a cure for the the corona virus epidemic that is spread all over the world when we do the pachapatni vrata not only we save ourselves from contracting that virus you also awaken the body's intelligence to produce the food the life energy that you need from the space the air and sun rays and swami ji gives a beautiful meditation it's actually one of my favorite meditations the meditation that he gives is just sit in a comfortable asana okay like a sukhasana or sit even in a chair breathe in through the nostrils and the mouth together breathe through both your nostrils and through the mouth together hold it as long as you can comfortably hold it and while you are breathing in just visualize you are the bidadi banyan tree receiving the food and energy from the space now 
the Vidhi Banyari, very much available as a live darshan, the Kalpa Vriksha is available as a live darshan for all of us. Even otherwise, you can just take the picture of the Vidhi Banyari. As you are inhaling through both your nostrils and the mouth, just visualize you are the Vidhi Kalpa Vriksha, the Vidhi Banyari. As how it is taking the life energy from the air, from the space, from the sun rays, just inhale that life energy, hold it as long as you can comfortably, you can hold that breathing and exhale through both the nostrils. Do this for 20 minutes. This will awaken your body's memory, your body's food that you need, the life energy that you need from the air, that space and the sun rays in and around us. It's a beautiful meditation. Hope all of you do the Pachapratni Vrata, immunize yourself from the coronavirus and not just that, use this opportunity to awaken the natural intelligence in our bio memory. That's what I wanted to share with all of you today. With this context of Nirahara Samyama for us, I invite you all, you can sign up for joining this cause in order to end the pandemic of coronavirus. All across the world, so many people have already signed up for this joint initiative, this global initiative. You can sign up at nityanandahinduuniversity.org slash daily satsang. Fill out the form for the Panchapatni Vratam and you can start the process, the instructions that Swamiji has gone into. This Vrata, this Nirahara Samyama actually is ingrained into Swamiji. It is one of the best gifts, even if you think about it. It's one of the best gifts that Swamiji has given to all of us. The, one of the greatest contributions from his entire mission. And like all of his contributions, the root is in his own life. It is something that he has himself practiced, himself been the living example of. He is the living testimony of the greatness, the ultimate status of his truths, of the truths which he is say, sharing, the Paramashiva Jnana which he is expressing. I'd like to share a short story from his own life which Swamiji has narrated about the Nirahara Samyama. From a very young age, Swamiji has been studying dedicated to these texts, the spiritual Veda Agamic texts, which today he has made into libraries, which he has revived. All of that, those habits, that passion started as a young child through his gurus, Mata Vibhudananda Puri and Isaki Swamigal and Yogananda Puri, Swamiji got a basis, a foundation of Hinduism in these spiritual texts, the sacred texts of Sanatana Hindu Dharma. Swamiji at one point was told by his gurus, Mata Vibhudananda Puri, Yogananda Puri and Isaki Swamigal to do the Nirahara Samyama, to start this Samyama this Paratha, where he is not having any solid food. His gurus are actually very esteemed, well-known saints of Tiruvannamalai. As you can see in the pictures, his gurus are seated in front of Panchamukham, one area in the Arunachala hill where you can see all five of the hills, the hillocks of Arunachala, the sacred hill, which is the embodiment of Paramashiva himself. Isaki Swamigal and Mata Vibhuranga Puri were in adept at the sciences, the Vedanta 
and were initiating continuously swami ji as a young child into all of these sciences and that is why they wanted him to also take up the nirahara samima the truth with that swami ji shared during the story is that when the when we have when we do the nirahara samima as manyanatma swami just shared our body our bio memory our muscle memory memory starts to invigorate to activate and we suddenly are able to grasp the higher truths the parama shiva gnana at a higher level at a higher frequency so at this time swami ji was asking why do i have to do all this in his own on lila he was asking in his own childish way at that time he was asking his gurus why should i take up the nirahara samyama why are these diets and restrictions as he thought of at the time why are these all there in hinduism so his gurus told him okay you go and eat whatever you want go and have all the sweets all the food all the snacks whatever you want and come back immediately swami ji did that he he had whatever he wanted and came back and he he himself saw he himself testified to the fact that when he was on a full stomach when he was completely full and full of all this car- carbs and all of these this in his stomach was continuously digesting he could not understand the truths from the upanishad that were being taught to him at that age at such a young age no small boy at that age will be so dedicated to Requesting completion for the 
technical difficulties on our side. His Divine Holiness, in this way, as I was saying, exemplified the truth of what he was teaching. This Liraha Rasnyama is time tested, foolproof, lived and by His Divine Holiness Himself. And He is even until today practicing, showing the world the way actually that Nirahara Sanyama works. Even in recent satsangs, His Divine Holiness has told, has revealed that it was through the Nirahara Sanyama itself that so much of poison that the anti-Hindus had infiltrated into his system had been completely cleansed and detoxified. This Nirahara Samyama, as we have explained before, is something which Swamiji started in the year 2012. It is one of the many gifts that he brought into, to the world. He is explaining in this way from the very beginning how the food is actually not just food to us. Food is so much more in our society. More than what we perceive it to be. Food is connected to emotions. To love. to care, to fear, everything is related to food. And unfortunately, in this day and age, we see so much of toxicity, corruption in the way the food and pharmaceutical industries have worked together. Continuously being bombarded with media images of food, of wanting to have fast food, of wanting to have non-vegetarian food, or food which is processed, food which is processed with toxins also. All of this being made completely okay, being made even appetizable. The food industry, the media industry and the advertising industry is responsible for how much we are understanding, how much we are suffering because of food-related diseases. If you think, if you see all of the diseases which humanity is truly suffering, diabetes, high blood pressure, colonitis, all of our whole digestive tract, it requires, it pleads our body for complete cleansing. However, because of our food-related patterns, we, we are always dumping so much of this poison inside of our system. This is why Swamiji has brought the Nirahara Samyama out and has revived this tradition, this indigenous tradition from our sacred scriptures. Swamiji explained very clearly to all of us the way that food-related patterns work on our system from a very young age when our food, food. Actually, um, just want to add one point here. In, uh, in Nirara Samima, when the physical food intake is reduced, 
even the intake uh, through other senses the ahara which we take everything will get complete the completion should be brought to all the aharas the, uh, the in nirara samima it's very easy to bring back and complete with all the all the food patterns and the aharas the sense all the senses and also it develops the higher psychology like um, not only our physical system but even 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 in our physiological flow need to cooperate in our to our, in our body the various component of us in our body everything needs to be integrated and it will be in uh, nirara samima it's very easy and it's very easy to integrate it to experience the state of paramashiva i remember in uh, on 2017 in uh, satsang swamiji has said that he can lift even if we are 500 kg weight just by a look by awakening our kundalini shakti but he won't be able to lift even if there is a 5 grams of toxin in our body if they are sitting in our body because the 5 gram toxins are the dead weight and through the nirahara samima first nirahara samima is a science but uh, in nirahara samima just through nirahara samima we can just heal our body mentally and physically yes ma'am please go ahead. and not only that i think all of us can uh, really understand and speak to the point where in our lives outside of shri kailasa act before becoming adinavasi how much we are influenced by the food industry coming from the united states coming from a completely material consumeristic society the food how we are eating food food is just a culture and of course in the vedic civilization our food and our intake is a culture but we only have celebration and feasts during the festive times during the festivals but uh, during the other times we use that time in order to cleanse our system and detoxify however in the western society coming from my experience it is absolutely opposite the way that we are continuously dumping and dumping the food toxins into our system all of these brands that we know of mcdonald's starbucks who are continuously putting their advertisements on tv media continuously rolling their advertisements even on social media even if you're going in the bus and you're scrolling through your phone you're seeing advertisements for food and you're thinking oh let me have this why not ha- why, why not treat myself actually when you're sharing this i remember uh, one of my uh, i went, before i joined gurukul i used to feel eating the burger pizza kfc is something really cool like how the modern day how you were sharing ma like how the modern day kids all the time say and watch the how like uh, they feel about the oh pizza or burger it's something cool i remember one swamji uh, told in one satsang yes yes they make our bodies completely cool dead when we die our body will completely cool and burger pizza kfc are uh, cool no doubt they also make you cool dead what swamiji meant in this particular truth is i will before i explain what was my understanding when swamiji revealed this uh, also swamiji said fire in the stomach is gone if you eat all the burger pizza kfc if you eat the cool uh, if you just make yourself if you feel that the foods are so cool to eat even when you die your body will become so cool and the fire in the stomach will be gone it will just vanish i did not understand when swami ji uh, said the fire in the stomach part i thought uh, how in indian dramas when uh, mother in law sees the daughter in law the mother in law will say uh, my stomach is burning to see you i thought oh that stomach burning only swami ji is uh, mentioning but only after we had vakya the sadas we used to have vakya the sadas in gurukul when we were in vakya the sadas one of the balasans shared this truth in more deeper level like how our body is made up of five elements fire water air earth and space 
when a normal being who consume the heavy toxic food we will not attain the purpose of our birth we will not attain uh, the purpose of uh, this birth and we will not achieve the space of enlightenment when we die our uh, when we die our body will release the complete negative energy because the jadaragni will not be alive the agni in our stomach will not be alive for an example our, uh, the all our in all our puranas um in uh, enlightened masters yogis even when they stop operating their human body the energy the agni the fire will be so intense when we just enter into their uh, samadhi when we just go to the uh, garbha uh, the garbha graha the yes ma'am sorry ma'am one thing that i was uh, remembering when you were sharing right when you were in the outer world how eating burger pizza everything was cool and naturally if you look back for I, i think all of the adinavasi sanyasis or even the devotees who have now switched after some of these teachings to a more organic diet to nirahara uh, uh, I definitely see how it is, right? But before, whenever we used to eat all all the junk food, burgers, everything, and we would fall sick, the uh, connection between the pharmaceutical industry and the food industry was so much. They will never tell you because you ate. That is why is the problem. So you stop eating, you get healed. No, continue to eat and take these medicines. You can eat whatever you want, and you take this medicine, you take this for indigestion, you take you know everything. So Swamiji in one sentence very beautifully explains: if there is any system of medication that tells you eat whatever you want and take a med- and take this medication, it is a complete conspiracy against you, because the simple solution is stop eating. The problem came from eating itself. So they never tell us that, right? So that itself is so clear how it is just a business, so that they continue to have their business. I just remember this. Uh, thank you, Ma. I um, I just remembered even for me when after Swamiji revealing the truths, for me when I was like wanted to eat all the burger, pizza, KFC when I was outside. After I started doing yoga, after I started doing yoga only I understood the meaning of the fire in the stomach. I experienced one of the five elements, the Jadaragni in my stomach. I just would like to um, before we move into the next segment. Let us watch a video clip of Swamiji explaining the underlying problem of ninety-nine percent of the teenagers. One of the worst thing I saw in the modern day: the chemicals, fertilizers, the remains of the fertilizers in your food, pesticides in your food. gets into the brain group even teenage kids start developing this group of i don't want anything life is too much and i just don't want to live this words this ideas become cognition of even teenage kids because of this remains of pesticides and fertilizers in the food understand pesticides and fertilizers remains those toxic chemicals in the food don't think they kill you slowly by bringing diseases and cancers very recently few kids who come for the programs and i was seeing the thought current of suicidal withdrawal tendency from them i just put my head put my hand on their head wanted to see what is the brain structure the software structure and where is the problem what is the source of the problem understand all thought currents exist in the cosmos for life celebrating life against life life neutral life negative suicidal withdrawal passionate aggressive passive all types of thought currents exist 
வாட் எவர் டைப் ஆஃப் த பாடி மைண்ட் அண்ட் சிஸ்டம் யூ ஹேவ் தோஸ் தாட் கரண்ட்ஸ் பிகம் காக்னிஷன் இன் யூ த மொமெண்ட் தே டச் யூ யூ டச் தம் சம்திங் கிளிக்ஸ் யூ ஃபால் இன் லவ் that becomes your cognition one of the shocking truth i found is the kids fed with the toxic food animal based are this chemical based please understand pesticide and fertilizers this chemical based food is equivalent to animal based food both harm your possibility for enlightenment equally equally even i am shocked when i discovered this sharing the real happening the real problem the teenage kids are facing now not only they withdrawing from life we teenagers started start enjoying but we all uh, we, we started enjoying when we withdraw from life we also started enjoying being in the space of life negativity because it's almost became like an addic- addiction in our system in our mind once i remember i just want to share one of my uh, best experience i had um once i remember when me and my family was traveling with swamiji and uh, with sangha people to one of the temple my sister asked uh, swamiji if she can have a uh, veggie pizza swamiji just looked at her and said can i am your father i can say yes immediately because you are my daughter but as a guru it is my responsibility to make you and give you the enlightenment with so much of love swamiji asked her again now tell me what you want pizza or enlightenment obviously because she is swamiji's daughter she chose the enlightenment uh, she wants to achieve uh, enlightenment i was so amazed seeing the conversation how much we have to think how much time it will take uh, for swamiji to just grant what she wants but the level of integrity uh, how swamiji respond i could see the love swamiji carries for her if we all are here in kailasa enjoying the organic ayurveda food we are blessed thank you so much i just want to share with uh, all of you actually so much of research has gone into just the health markers how the diet affects our health how it affects how we are aging what swami ji is saying how swami ji is so integrated to somebody's enlightenment is not just for the sake of it he is doing it because there is a science behind it there's so much of extreme there's so much of research of scientific data available which will which can support all of our uh, seeking and all the enlightenment swami ji is science which swami ji is giving i'd like to quote a specific reach research that has happened just recently on uh, march 4th 2020 just two weeks back the stony brook university in new york published a research article a presentation on a new development that they have made in their 
neurology department. Dr. Lily, Lily Ann, who is a professor, university professor, researcher in this university, and her team conducted research on how diet affects your aging. First, the first discovery which they made is that your aging starts at a much younger age than what is normally known, what is normally thought of. They saw that at the age of 47, your body is starting to decay. Your body, the cells in your body, are, uh, the cells in your body which are dying and which are growing old and weakening are doing so at a much faster rate than your, the cells in your body which are growing new, which are being born new and changing. So aging starts sooner than what we think. Now, Dr. Lillian and her team had a had to answer why why is this happening they found that the way that the brain is communicating with itself different parts of the brain of course need to communicate itself because it's a higher extremely uh, high complex which needs to operate all of the functions of our body so the glucose a glucose, which is an extremely important fundamental part, uh, component of our body. Not only that, it is in our diet. This is the very foundation of our diet. If you call a carb diet, this is this is the very foundation. The very um, basically a simple block, a sugar block of our entire diet. These complex carbohydrates that so, so many people are talking about in people's diet, it starts only from glucose. The researchers found that glucose, the, the ability for the brain to metabolize glucose starts to, to, get, to decay. And this, per, this particular uh, molecule is actually slowing down the stability of the communication networks within our brain. Meaning the diet, the amount that we take in glucose is actually a marker for how fast we age. Then Dr. Lillian tried new components, new trials for what will reverse aging and what will actually work for us to stabilize, re-stabilize the, the communication networks within our brain. And let me remind all the viewers that this is a very essential component of our brain. It is extremely necessary within, uh, within our biological functioning. The Dr. Lillian and the researchers then found out that a low carb diet and ketone supplements, adding and drinking the ketone supplements is actually a key to having a stable metabolization inside the brain and having and actually they found that the aging process of the brain was reversed was that the brain systems and communication networks which were already starting to age which were already starting to destabilize were starting to turn back in time we're starting to grow healthier this is a revolutionary discovery made by Dr. Lillian and her team because it's not that easy to be able to turn back time, especially when it comes to extremely complex cells in the brain like neurons. What Dr. Lillian found is that a low carb diet and ketone supplements will actually reverse the process of aging within your brain and she has not only that, I must mention that she has done these tests on a thousand people from ages 18 to 88 with a lot of different habits, different um, variables within their diet systems and their maturity and so forth. That these tests are actually applicable. And what does a what does a low carb diet and two and ketone supplements have anything to do with Nirahara Samyama? It means Nirahara Samyama itself is 
cutting down the amount of carbohydrates which you are consuming daily it is managing and and supplying your system with herbal juices which are actually the ketone supplements which they are having nirahara samyama actually basically simulates the tests which dr lilian had run in her labs in her research showing and giving a lot of evidence for what swami ji is saying is swami ji is saying is the benefits of nirahara samyama it is a true marker in aid in the aging process and not only that it helps so many different brain disorders and diseases which we find developing through age for example alzheimers and dementia all of these are extreme diseases disorders which which many people face within our society as we age however the however this nirahara samyama the low carb diet as dr lilian has researched is a perfect way to reverse and slow down that aging process and slow down the process in which our brain starts to defunction which is exactly anti-aging in itself again which is exactly what swami ji has been saying about nirahara samyama if you are interested and excited about this nirahara samyama if you understand now having seen this scientific research about it and understood i invite you to sign up at the link link provided below nityanandahinduuniversity.org/dailysatsang in order to sign up for the panchapatni vratam which swami ji has started this vratam is not just nirahara samya i can say it's maybe an expansion of it because swami ji has introduced this this vratam in order to end coronavirus pandemic which is affecting the world which has put the whole world into a emergency mode into a very very at risk position now if you're watching this i'm sure the thought and the fear stroke of getting coronavirus must have entered your system and you might be confused on one side there's a whole media articles and a lot of um a lot of media journalists and articles news sources which are saying that there's nothing to worry about uh um nothing to worry about coronavirus you don't need to worry at all um that some of them people are even saying that coronavirus and the, this pandemic is much less in comparison to some of the pandemics which we have gone through before and so many people are trying to convince you there's nothing to worry about on the other hand many people are trying to convince you that you have to worry that you should not go out that you have to be quarantined inside your house and that you should not travel that you should cancel your vacation plans the whole government system so many people are trying to say on the other hand trying to contain the panic which is already out there you might be confused what to do how to really handle the situation and now swami ji of course ordains and tells that no matter where you are you must follow the law of the land you must follow whatever the government there in that land is saying but this panchapatni vratam is a pure traditional organic way of being able to combat the coronavirus without having to go through unnecessary panic if just you reduce the amount you're eating and start to bring more consciousness by doing the processes and uh, supplying your body with various herbal juices with these ketone supplements these supplements which are very much needed in your body detoxifying the body it is a simple solution to all of 
the problems, all of the symptoms which we find in the coronavirus. One thing I want to reiterate also is that many people have taken to a lot of Hindu traditions in order to combat this coronavirus already. Vegetarianism is starting to be promoted in just by the health advisory boards saying that you should not eat meat, you should contain your diet, that you should ensure that you are not having any poisonous foods because the virus itself can be brought onto you. You can get this virus by having extremely unhealthy meats. So vegetarianism it's in itself also being supported by health advisory boards internationally in order to combat the coronavirus and to, in order to contain its the pandemic which is going on. We should all understand that if we just take it a step further and allow our system to digest, to detoxify, and we start doing this vratam, it'll be the best way to prevent and immunize our body from against the coronavirus. If you are interested in this, Samyama, in, in participating in this and helping healing the world, you can sign up at the link below. And while we are at it, while you are waiting for Swamiji, I also invite all of the viewers to I also invite all the viewers to use hashtag ask the avatar and tweet at Srinityananda in order to ask any of the questions that you might have. Swamiji yesterday gave so many revelations on this traditional immunization which we practice in the Hindu diaspora across the world. However, if you have any questions about it, if you want to know what to do, or if you have any questions about any other topics that Swamiji has brought up in the last few days or over his entire public life, you can ask. Now you have the opportunity to ask and be able to get your questions answered by Swamiji. If you just use hashtag ask the avatar and tweet at Sri Nityananda, your question might be answered by the avatar himself, the embodiment of Parmashiva. Actually, listening to this sharing of like till now, whatever all of us were discussing about this entire Pachapatni Vratha. Actually, yesterday, very beautifully, Swamji was explaining in Satsang how this is an age old tradition, it is not something new. This is an age-old tradition which is practiced in the Samayapura Mariam temple where Devi herself does Nirahara where even the Naivedyam that is offered to her for those days that entire Nirahara she follows only jaggery water and buttermilk that's what is offered to, this, uh, to Devi herself and that tradition that was started by Samayapuram uh, Mariam is followed in India itself in, in the North India some just saying they call Mariam as Shitala. So, all of these devis, this Nirahara, this Pachapatni Vrata is followed all around. It's an age old tradition. Actually, all of the traditions, whatever existed in the Vedagamas, it was always directly imp impacting the well being, the physical well being of that person. If you see, no doctors existed to earn out of somebody's illness. But unfortunately, today, for all of us, we, it, the whole thing has become in such a way that people earn out of our illness. Swamiji very quickly explain this like, uh, from what Swamiji has told us. The kind of system that was there during the Vedic times, actually even as recent as Swamiji's time was in very few villages, including Tirvannamale, where Swamiji was born and brought up. The whole structure of the economy was designed in such a way 
that the doctor only earns when you are healthy he he cannot earn when you are sick today on the contrary we can very clearly see how the doctor can earn only when you are sick i just wanted to share how the uh, system works so so somebody is explaining how the doctor will ensure that the patient is cured let's say the patient is a farmer so the doctor will ensure that the farmer is cured and when he gives medicine or gives the treatment the farmer does not pay to the doctor instead when the farmer becomes healthy heal he goes on the field he works in the field and what he harvests out of the joy that the doctor has healed him the farmer goes and shares that to the doctor Actually, and that is the way how our ecosystem the way the whole economy was functioning and that very clearly shows how the doctor's interest will not be on the person falling sick but instead it will be on the person being well on the other hand today only when you go and pay to the doctor the doctor is going to get money so obviously he is only going to make sure you are sick actually it's it's very clear it's like when one side uh, they they try to make sure you are not completely sick on the other hand they they make sure you are not completely ill they make sure you are in a way maintained and neither sick nor healthy so that they only reach make sure you are reach till the level of main taking so you can keep going back to them and over you fall sick you can keep going back to them and giving them more money actually today if you see even as per the statistics that is published by the who the world health organization majority of the illness that is happening to people today almost one in every 10 people are affected and majority of these diseases are food born actually in the satsang swamiji tells very beautifully that food in our in our ancient tradition there was no medicine that was separate and licensed whatever we lived and practiced it was such a healthy lifestyle that very rarely people had to go but today it has become like a hand in hand thing where we go and eat at our favorite place we go and eat the food that we like in some fast food and uh, some good restaurants and then we after that they ensure that we go back to the doctor which only reduces there is no complete cure that they will immediately give when you're talking about this, i'm just reminded of what some explained even in satsang yesterday when there is gas in your stomach even what you even you will know what what is happening is not aligned to your life or what is happening is not for your life it is against your life but you will continue to do that action if so many of us know eating a burger or a pizza how much it has effect on our lives how much it affects our lives but when you actually go see the pizza or go and see the burger you automatically take and you eat it this is very, in a very cunning way all the whole of humanity is just put into the delusion by any food you consume see only if you consume it you start becoming addicted to it but the addiction itself for for you to have that addiction there are so many additives which are added into the food and that food is presented in such a way that it ensures that there is a gas that is caused inside you actually here one point like it is so unfortunate today unconsciously like even there are i know there are many people who are genuinely wanting to cure many doctors they go study doctor and all of that just to genuinely find a cure for people but unfortunately for us the very system that is created it has it is ensuring it is a it is a monotonous cycle one helps the other and then that helps it it's the same it goes hand in hand actually you should say it's not even it's not even known to that layer of doctors see what whom we go and meet the clinic they are like the last people who are actually treating us but there is an entire system which is controlling all these doctors 
and there are like some details how the whole or like people who control the entire world can are just a handful of people who can just sit in a round table and have a meeting that only the, so that bunch of people are the ones who are deciding like this the whole so this changes the studies that they are studying the medicines that they are exposed to the uh, amount of discoveries and inventions they are exposed to we cannot blame the doctors it's not the doctors fault but the system itself is made in such a way that they are for sure going to control you rather than curing you or do anything else actually in fact i want to share with you all this article from the world health organization and all of you can see that on the screen this entire the world health organization when they took the statistics like i was sharing with all of us food borne diseases the diseases that is caused by eating the wrong food and for us when i say wrong food i'm not just meaning going to uh, say mcdonald's or something and eating some fast food no i'm saying the very food the normal food that we are eating even the ones that are labeled natural play a safe game because unfortunately today there is i was shocked there are so many things that label it is completely natural 100% natural then i read it so then when we read the details we get to know that natural doesn't mean it is organic i'm shocked today it has become branding marketing i think you should also mention about what are all the things under natural so people like we actually understand the difference actually what how the entire food industry defines natural versus organic in natural still they can continue to use pesticides they can continue to use all of that but organic only doesn't mean that. so natural is just an attractive word that they put and today this entire food industry and pharmaceutical industry is working hand in hand and that is why unfortunately many of the diseases are continuing to stay in our system without being able to find the cure and these ancient traditions that we have had which today is being brushed aside saying esoteric past is a it's a direct solution for healthy living even diseases like the corona virus somebody very beautifully told that how this plague annamalai are by worshiping him and how fire walking is a vaccine for corona virus all of these are not joke it's a science that is established where it is legitimately established to everyone how we can cure deadly diseases in fact if you see in our vedic references kumbhun pandian a king who was like who had hunchback just through basma was healed and straightened this is we have clear evidences for this. these are not just myth and age old stories and the only way we can each of us can revive this today how they, i know now there might be many doctors i know there might be many people who know your own family is suffering with diseases like corona virus and many of you might want to become a part of finding a cure for this and one thing is when swami ji himself has decided to do the pachapatni pratham each of us whoever wants to become contribute to be a part somehow make a change in the world this is one of the rarest opportunity because we are becoming part of the movement that is directly created by parameshwara himself one solution one i would say one of the main backbone that is there to revive these traditions to revive these lost sciences the spiritual incubator the spiritual laboratories that are there to revive these sciences are shri kailasa everywhere around the world there might be there are so many sanyasi who are so happy that today in the sangha we have so many sanyasi who are inspired who are just all of us 
the mo- i'm just waiting to join back with the sangha because i know if i become part of the sangha i'll be part of the greatest movement of creating shri kailasa around the globe which will remain as spiritual laboratories and spiritual incubators for these techniques and processes to happen successfully like some to sharing in how like in arunachal sarvigya peetha they did the fire walking all the oneness with the avatar program participants did the fire walking and i know no they're all vaccinated spiritual vaccination is done for all of them and none of them can be affected with corona virus just the way some people is so it is a huge opportunity for me to even share this because i am yearning to become part of the sangha so that i can also be part of this movement to establish the legitimacy of the kailasa and i can also be a small part in this huge vision that swamji is reviving uh nitya nandita actually what you are explaining just now actually i was just uh, listening to the whole uh, pre hosting which you guys everything you presented one thing which we all need to understand that whatever swami ji is doing it is only to uplift humanity be it it's from one fire walking one ritual to anything it is only relation with how the conscious evolution can happen in humanity if you remember few days ago swami ji was saying in the satsang that lot of defamation a lot of abuse all the sanyasis have gone through while this persecution is happening one thing which personally i was the one who was uh defamed who was called by various names with various bad words but all i can say is the strength which swami ji gave swami ji has given nothing has affected i can say it has only made me much more stronger to stand and to show all those abusers all those people those who have called me prostitute those who have called me a uh, head of sex racket those who have called me with all kind of bad names to show me as the person somebody who is who who you can see very low being a girl in a society if i'm just i just wanted to talk with all the viewers those who are seeing if your daughter if your sister if your mother is abused how you will feel the pain i know what swami ji would have gone through when he seeing that his own daughters are being abused like this but even after that i was i'm really honored that swami ji gave me swami ji really compared me with draupadi the first cognition the first reaction which i had is i have literally not done anything swami ji but swami ji gave me that honor and to keep that word of swami ji which swami ji has given me swami ji has told me that bhakti priya is draupadi today for all those abusers those who are watching i know you all are watching i don't have time to have any kind of bad words talking to you because you don't even deserve that you only deserve to see the success you only deserve to see how the shri kailasa will happen all around the world and with that the integrity which i have and the love which i have for swami ji and swami ji has trusted me as his daughter today i want to declare that india will have shri kailasa as as the official status in india the embassy of shri kailasa will happen in india today i really wanted to do tyaga of all my lower inner image for all my doubts which i can see that oh how it things can happen how things will move today by keeping kala bharva as a witness i seek swami ji's blessings and sangha's blessings to make shri kailasa happen in india where swami ji is persecuted 
yes the place where the persecution happened that place will recognize shri kailasa as a nation with all my integrity to swami ji i want to declare that ma bhakti priya will be working towards it and make it happen this is my first step and i know when you take first step swami ji takes thousand steps to make that happen and the whole world will see shri kailasa will get established around the world everybody every single human being is going to recognize respect with all their love and they'll realize that swami ji is the only one who is standing strong for sanatan hindu dharma i think i just wanted to conclude with this declaration and seeking swami ji's and sangha's blessings thank you everyone thank you everyone Thank you ma bhakti priya for a strong declaration in the face of so much of abuse it is absolutely warranted the way that you have stood up and told the whole world what is expected and what they should be expecting from you for all of the viewers once again i'd like to remind as we have been speaking this entire introduction and in the face of this very daunting epidemic of called the coronavirus Now Swami ji has given a clear cut traditional organic way to immunize yourself and not only that a global initiative to entirely end heal the world from this coronavirus pandemic he has declared that within 28 days we will heal the world the entire ap- epidemic will be cleared and healed and once again a part of history which we triumphed over swami ji introduce that pat- patcha patni bratam in order to bring to the world a new or what i should say is a revived tradition what we have always been practicing in hinduism where the vratas are taken as a as a way to completely heal the world not only healing and detoxifying your inner space but entirely healing the entire world this was the original context through which devi herself took up this vrata from the day of masi magam and she took up this vrata in order to heal the world in that same context we are taking up this vrata in order to entirely heal the world and heal ourselves detoxify ourselves as well so once again i invite all the viewers join us in this global initiative which is spearheaded cognized revived and declared by the supreme pontiff of shri kailasa his divine holiness shri nityananda parameshwaram and executed by the pontifical council for holistic healthcare in collaboration with shri kailasa united nations for alternative healthcare and holistic healthcare as well as 
Sri Kailasa Uniting Nations for healing chronic illnesses. All of these entities together across the Sri Kailasa Nation are working towards ending this coronavirus pandemic, affecting so many thousands of people all over the world, bringing so much of, of tension, fear, panic within of the citizens of all of the countries all over the world. And no matter what, whether you get the disease or not, it should not affect our daily lifestyle. It should not bring so much of fear, fear stroke inside of us whenever we're hearing the news or seeing and witnessing maybe our relatives, our community members going through such a hard time in our lives. This is the time to hold the greater context which Swamiji himself has given through this Vrata. Once again, you can sign up for this Pachapatni Vata in the link below at nityanandahinduuniversity.org slash daily satsang. Go ahead and select the option to sign up for this Vrata in order to end the coronavirus. Last time, in the beginning of February even, Swamiji announced the first initiative to end this coronavirus, to heal the world of the coronavirus. And he announced the Akhanda Mahajapa, which was extremely effective, if I might say. We have even collected the data and presented on the I, I, as a internal publication as well on how the Akhanda Mahajapa participated by thousands of people all over the world of a 48 hour period where we we're continuously chanting the Mahavakya Om Nityananda Paramashivoham how it was how it actually affected how it really slowed down the rates of which the coronavirus was spreading across the world. The Akhanda Mahajapa was so successful that the rate, even the Chinese officials and the Chinese government had released articles, had released announcements saying the rate of the pandemic had actually slowed down and started to become a little bit more stable. Now, with a fresh and energetic new context, new energy, Swamiji is starting once again a global initiative to address and heal the entire world of this, the coronavirus pandemic. No matter what it is in Hinduism, it is the contribution to the world, the service to the world that becomes has become the brand of Hinduism. No matter what we do, whether it may seem for per personal benefit, ultimately the context is for the entire world, for the healing of the entire world, for bringing peace to the entire world, for empowering each and every individual. This is the context behind every Hindu ritual, every Vrata, every Samyama, every process that we are all a part of, that we all practice in Hindu tradition. And if I might add, it is the basis, the foundation of what Swamiji has built as Sri Kailasa and is also promoting in this movement, not just promoting, but working for with tremendous, immense amount of hard work Sincerity, Swamiji established the movement of Sri Kailasa Uniting Nations and is working towards 108 causes with more to be added for global peace, feminine empowerment and such global causes that affect the entire world no matter where you are. And essentially, that is who Swamiji is reaching out to. Swamiji 
beautifully said in a satsang that he is born from Hinduism but for the entire world. It is absolutely true that upon even declaring the Sri Kailasa nation, Swamiji has brought these sacred tr truths which he has revived from, the, from Sanatana Hindu Dharma to the global screen, scheme applicable to anyone across the world. So if you are watching this right now, perhaps you are one of the two billion people across the world who identify as Hindu. I promise that this, these teachings that Swamiji is revealing that are being imparted by, the, his, by his Divine Holiness are for you and are the solution to whatever problem which you may be going through. If you are just scrolling through Facebook and find this video, I urge you to stop, to listen, to understand and imbibe the truths as you are not doing anything else but witnessing the happening of Paramashiva on planet Earth, the greatest happening on planet Earth at this moment. And no matter what, even a slight agitation on Facebook, which you might be feeling to scroll through, you should not miss this satsang. Now, it has come time to await His Divine Holiness, the Supreme Pontiff, of Sri Kailasa. As we are waiting, I invite all of the viewers to use hashtag ask the avatar and you can ask any question that you might have for Swamiji. You can tweet at Sri Nityananda and have the opportunity to have your questions answered by Swamiji during today's live satsang. With this, I invite you all, welcome you all warmly to sit with your head, neck and spine in a straight line. Breathe deeply, chanting the Mahavakya, Om Nityananda Paramashivoham. And await eagerly with such yearning space to experience oneness with Paramashiva. Await the darshan of Swamiji, of Paramashiva himself. Thank you, Nityanandam. <laughs>